So today we're going to try to punch up with Surfer and Friends on some Defenders. We all know Defenders are a little better these days than they used to be. And, you know, it's just war. Why not use it? A lot of people in my crew, too, actually in my alliance, were asking me what I use my Fantastic Four for. And I usually just try to punch up, just find random punch ups, and I run Namor over the thing. He gets kicked out, sadly. So that is my lineup. And I did buy the invisible woman costume i definitely dig that second costume that was pretty dope so i saved up when i saved up all my bit credits or whatever from the events this is also a team i enjoy playing with not a team that i need to play with scopely doesn't tell me i need to play with this team i just enjoy playing with the fantastic four you know it's not a necessary thing because like i'm saying their only benefits key or like basically blitz and war they're not going to really help you in dark dimension or like high tier raids or anything like that except for maybe surfer and look at those animations too like i just love the animations on this team especially namor he's he's a war god man i freaking love this dude And you'll find that Human Torch is basically useless. I mean, I upgraded him, but I'm not like... I mean, he, he's useless, man. He's very squishy. He's gone in like two instants. What the shit? Did you see that? Torch is dead. Frickin' told you. I still do really like this team. Just because the Fantastic Four, they're so versatile... And that's the best thing about them is like if, if you're using Surfer on defense, you know, you can throw in the thing as the other option or, you know, like I said, use Surfer. This is, I think, the best team version for war. For Blitz, I use other versions. But it looks like we're going to get a clean kill on this advantage on this one. And this was a pretty big punch up. Like I said, even though it is defenders, they are reworked a little different than they were back in the day. And as I said, with Fantastic Four, that's one of my other favorite things is you can just punch up and try different punch ups on a lot of different teams because I've seen them work. I've even done I've done punch downs on Black Order, too, with this team. So, like I said, they're very versatile, easy to use and, like I said, fun to use. And I love using them. In war, especially, even though it's like not the best game mode. Here we are with a Power Armor Ultron mix, trying to punch up on this. It's just three man crew on this Merc team, but with these three men right here, that character power actually equals over 400k. So this is kind of a ridiculous team, like I said. Just specific teams like this are just a, just a pain in the butt, man, especially in war. This kind of turned into a salt video about war, but I actually did used to really like war, and now it's just kind of like, oh, man, it's just really frustrating. I have just too much time consuming. That's the problem with a lot of the aspects of this game. And like I said, I really did used to like war. But now it's just so many changes and a lot of the different things. It's not as fun as it used to be for me. But it looks like we're going to solidly get this win with this Ultron Power Armor team. Just so unnecessary though. So unnecessary. Done. That's what I mean. Like People in the game that just build crap like this just to piss people off in war like who the f who who needs this shit no one needs this 